lot of people are talking about Lance Armstrong today after his big interview with Oprah aired last night. He's finally admitted to using performance enhancing drugs during his cycling career. He sat down with Oprah in a two and a half hour interview and a lot of questions were answered last night when asked whether he used specific drugs. He responded with a yes. He said that in his opinion, he did not think it was humanly possible to win the Tour de France without doping. And you can see part two of the interview this evening. Well, some people say, you know what, it's just too late. This tweet by Rick Riley has been retweeted more than 4,000 times. It says, after years of lying to my face, Lance Armstrong apologizes in an email. He can keep it. And that's a lot of people's feelings on Twitter. The overall sentiment is, you know what, it's just too late. Well, also on Twitter, the First Lady. You're going to find the office of the First Lady. This is different than the, the Michelle Obama Twitter feed. That's more Michelle Obama the person. This is more the activities of the First Lady of the United States. You can find her at FLOTUS. She's encouraging folks to take part in Day of Service that's coming up tomorrow. And she debuted a new haircut. You can see the short bang. Some people are saying that it's sort of Taylor Swift-esque. So, uh, but she already has about 75,000 followers, and she just debuted her Twitter feed yesterday My on her goodness. birthday. You know, she's such a trendsetter, too, that right. I'm thinking we're going to see a lot of haircuts. Right, like more that. bangs. Yes, more <laughs> bangs. All right, thanks, Pamela.